We eat it on hot dogs and hamburgers, on sausages and sandwiches. No condiment cuts the mustard quite like mustard. The ancient Romans took the mustard seed to what is now France, and by the ninth century, big time mustard production was underway. Yellow mustard and Dijon mustard have a few ingredients in common, but that's where the similarity ends. Not only are they prepared quite differently, they're derived from different varieties of mustard seed. Yellow mustard is made from the seeds of the white mustard plant. Turmeric and paprika provide the yellow color and sharp flavor. The other ingredients are salt, water, and white vinegar. The powdered ingredients go down a shaft to a mixing tank containing the water and vinegar. Yellow mustard's proportions are roughly 60% water, 20% vinegar, 15% seeds, and 5% salt and spices. The last ingredient to go in is the mustard seed, hull, bran, and all. The tank's rotating mixer blends the ingredients for about an hour at seed crushing speeds reaching 265 kilometers per hour. The tank's contents empty into several stainless steel mills. Inside each one, a pair of synthetic stones grinds the seeds, a process known as stone milling. That grinding action heats the mixture to about 60 degrees Celsius. The liquid thickens into creamy, bright yellow mustard. Before bottling, they perform what's called a finesse test. This ensures the mustard is smooth enough. If its particles are more than a quarter of a millimeter big, the factory adjusts the milling stones closer together to produce a finer grind. They make Dijon mustard from brown mustard seeds, sometimes mixed with other varieties. And they usually use two types of vinegar, cider and white. The ingredients ferment in the tank for 12 hours before mixing. That's what gives Dijon mustard its strong flavor. After mixing, it's the same stone milling process we saw before. Here's what the inside of those mills looks like. A rotating stone rubbing seeds against a stationary stone. The same principle as an old-fashioned mortar and pestle. Dijon is made with twice as many seeds as yellow mustard and 20% less water which is why it comes out thicker and denser and needs the occasional stir. Filters screen out any particles larger than a quarter of a millimeter. The factory saves these coarse pieces to put into specialty mustards. Now the creamy smooth Dijon mustard goes into a stainless steel tank. A slow speed revolving mixer removes the air, which would otherwise turn it brown and dull its flavor. The yellow mustard tanks also have mixers to remove air and to keep the condiment well blended. Both Dijon and yellow mustard have to cool overnight before bottling. From start to finish, it takes about 20 hours to produce yellow mustard, about 32 hours for Dijon, the extra time due to the fermentation period. Yellow mustard has a 15-month shelf life, while Dijon stays fresh for a year. Both should be refrigerated after opening to preserve their flavor. Mustard is a condiment that even health-conscious eaters can enjoy. It packs a lot of flavor in just a few calories. It contains just a small amount of fat, somewhat more if the manufacturer uses oil in the recipe, but it's still a cholesterol-free food.